Hey YouTube, this is the American Samurai one coming once again coming to you once again almost last month you know say. Back in with my book review. This time we're gonna take a look way back when or cranking open the or turn open the old nostalgia machine. Taking a look at a series a book based on a kid series that if you're a certain age like me, you probably remember seeing this on PBS. We're looking at the Adventures of Wispbone, Doctor Jekyll and Mr. Dog. Uh, for those of you not familiar with well, the concept of the series is thus. In the real world, Wishbone is a dog who lives with his family. Uh, the Talbots, I believe. Talbots and... Yeah, Joe Talbot. And mother, Glenda. And events happen in the show, and something in the show triggers Wishbone's imagination, which leads him uh, seeing this adventure of this fictional world. In this world, even though he's a dog, they act like he's human. You know, they don't realize that. Uh, I'll give you the, uh, the back of this. Joe Talbot's neighbor, Wanda Glamore, meets a man for dreams, but Joe, Ellen Talbot, and Wishbone are puzzled by the change in Wanda's personality. She's just not herself. Wanda invites the Talbots to attend her mystery manager, amateur talent night show, and everyone has a hair raising surprise. And she reminds Wishbone of the book The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevens. Wishbone imagines himself as John Utterson, a lawyer who follows the trail of an evil man who was terrorizing the 19th century London. As Utterson unravels this mystery, he'll face dark secrets and witness a frightening. Scientific experiment gone wrong, and have a fur-raising encounter with a monster. This is published by Scholastics Inc. And it's uh, I've had this for a while. I got this at a uh, thrift shop way back when. Again, when I think I got this, and I got an, a DVD episode of it too. Uh, maybe some point I'll review the DVD as well, but. Uh, Sadly, it's not this episode. I don't think this one's ever released on DVD, which is kind of sad. Um, but overall, I enjoyed it. I liked um, the first chapter is uh, starts with Wishbone uh, in normal world, and I think the next two chapters are um, Wishbone as John Gabriel Utterson, and it's just... I thought I enjoyed it. It's a short book. It's only what yeah, 141 pages, 15 chapters. So it's not that long. You can find out how I'm checking out, especially if you like me and your nostalgic for this and remember seeing this show as a kid. But I think someone who has no familiar, who is not familiar, would probably still enjoy it. Um, I would use it as like a, my normal one, one out of five rating, like I normally do, but. If you can say what I'm I don't feel like that's appropriate. So I'm going to take a page out of Chris Boraz's book and give this a nostalgic overload. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the BMB that's by and by. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe icon. Hit that little bell icon on the left, and I'll let you know every time I upload a channel. Uh, if, you, if you're new to my channel, there's two people on my channel that's either going to be a video from me or a video from my brother Jeremy. And uh, we alternate tag off sometimes. We'll do, we'll each do a video the same day. It all depends. Uh, also, in the comments, guys, let me know what was your favorite episode of Wishbone when you were a kid? I'm sure a lot of you are going to probably say The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. But uh, frankly, I, I believe my favorite one was uh, The Purloin Letter. I tend to like it. I never saw the Sherlock Holmes one. I tend to like anything where Wishbone plays a better detective. So, sayonara.